We just completed step 3 by calculating historical value drivers. Now it's time to make assumptions for the forecasted years for these value drivers. When you make assumptions for forecasted period in three statement model, you want to take into consideration historical values, information in the MDNA and footnotes sections of the company's financial statements, and possibly do a research for the industry in addition to that. The assumptions we will determine in our model will drive the forecast for all three of our main financial statements above. For simplicity and teaching purposes here, I will just take an average of the historical years for value drivers to make an assumptions for my first forecasted period 2021. So here in the cell J62, I'm going to put average formula for the previous four years. I like the formula. I'm going to fill the formula down and you can see that I have a break here between ranges I would like to highlight. So I'm going to use shift plus F8 function 8 shortcut to grab several non-contiguous ranges. And after that, I want to use F2 function in the cell J62, control enter to fill only the formulas down, but not the format. Great job. Now for the rest of forecasted period, I want to assume that all of my value drivers will be the same for 2022, three, four, five, six as for 2021. So I'm going to use flatline here. I built the formula that um, the cell key 62 equals to the previous year value in the cell J62. And I will fill it down and right with control R, control D for the first one. And then I will copy the formula and paste the formula only for the cell K70, control alt v F for formulas only, because F is underlined here in the paste special window, enter. So my formula is inserted and I can fill it down and write as well for the next value drivers below. Great job, step number four is completed. And now step number five would be to complete supporting schedules for forecasted period. 